guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today is an Easter DIY video. So let's just jump right into it. This DIY, it is so simple. It's these cute little bunny topiaries and you'll need these wooden bunnies. I use these throughout the whole video. And then I just took some spackle and filled in the holes because I did not want any of these holes showing for any of my decor. So right now I'm just using the Ballet Slipper by Waverly Chalk Paint and I'm just using this up because it's kind of started to get old so I kind of had to water it down a little bit. Uh, but I love this color and I love using Waverly Chalk Paint because it just covers so well. And I love painting terracotta pots because normally you have to do one solid coat. They dry super fast. So I definitely love using these. I picked up these from the Dollar Tree as well. And they are like the medium size. I can't remember exactly what size, but you get two of them for a dollar. So I actually made something different than what I actually used. I tried to add moss to these little bunnies and add like the eyes and the little tail back on. But I did not like the way they looked. I thought they just kind of looked like... Um, they did not look like bunnies to me. <laughs> I just added boxwood greenery to the bottom. That's from Walmart. Changed my mind and then took these wooden dowels, stuck them on the back of these wooden bunnies, and I just painted these with the Waverly Chalk Paint in white. I didn't really go over a ton of me painting these bunnies because I painted... I think there was six of them total six or eight of them total in this package so I definitely did not want to uh, show you guys me painting every single one of these bunnies but this is just the way like chalk paint in white and this is what these little topiaries look like when they are all done and these are so stinking cute and this costs about three dollars to make both of these Next one is one of my favorites it is just this cute a little basket or this wooden wooden basket. This was from Goodwill. It was $4 and then I'm just giving it a nice little priming coat with the Waverly Chalk Paint in white and then I'm going to go back in with this really pretty purple color from Arteza and it's just the lilac color and I just went over this and I love using Arteza paint as well because this only needed one coat and it covered it really really well and then since I had all these wooden bunnies like I said I used every single one because I thought that they were super cute and you can do so many things with them without having to actually make garland. I see garland so many times with those, which I there's nothing wrong with the garland, but I just thought I could come up with something different. And then I just glued these little wooden bunnies. These are also just painted white and I painted, or I painted, I glued them to each side of this little basket. And then I just put in some florals from Walmart. This is the lavender. This is I think $1.26 now. It used to be 97 cents but it's a little bit more now and just some lamb's ear you can get two of these for two dollars and i just love the way this turns out this is super pretty for spring and easter and i will keep this out until probably summer but love the way this turned out for only one well i guess this was under 10 bucks to make next one is a super cute and it's one of my favorites you will just need four frames from a Dollar Tree I found these ones and I love the rustic weathered look and then I just glued them together to make a window I know this isn't anything new with the Dollar Tree world but I loved these frames so I definitely wanted to show you guys this real quick and I just used the Gorilla hot glue sticks and those work amazing and I have no issues with anything falling apart with it and if I do try to take things apart it usually just breaks before it will come apart but I just glued two together and then the other two and then like I said I just made a cute little window this smaller wreath form burlap and then these like carrots from the Dollar Tree and then I just use some florals as well from Walmart and Dollar Tree and so what I do when I make wreaths I like to rip out a ton of burlap cut it and then I I just wrap it all around the wreath form because I don't like the wreath form to show um, and it's just easier to glue pieces on I love making wreaths this way it's just super super easy and you just wrap it around glue it to hold it together and then you can just add all your florals and it is just an easier way to do this I use some boxwood greenery from Walmart and then some of these like really pretty like spring fuzzy flowers from Dollar Tree and you see that there's hot glue already all over this wreath I try to do something different it didn't work I didn't even want to show it because it looked absolutely terrible so I always like using this box of greenery from Walmart it just I always start with that and then add everything in between and then to cover more of the burlap you can always just add more florals more greenery I just kind of wing every single wreath I make normally I don't usually have a plan 
And then once that was done, I just glued the carrots onto this. And then I just glued one of the wooden bunnies and I just painted this one with the lilac color from Arteza. And to hold the wreath on to the framed window, I just used some twine and tied it to the back. This next DIY is just more of a neutral decor piece. I'm just using two of these eggs from Walmart. I love picking up decor after Easter. I know for a fact I did not get these last year, so it must have been the year before. And I'm just using some white nautical rope from the Dollar Tree to wrap it all the way around. So I did use this like thicker uh, nautical rope, and then I did have like a thinner one. I know you can pick this up at Dollar Tree all the time. Now it seems to always be at my Dollar Tree. It's just like a normal thing now. It was like really cool when it first came out but now you can just pick it up whenever but I'm not sure what the size of this is um, just because I'm reusing this rope that I use for a different DIY so I'm not 100% sure uh, what the size is but I did use two packs For this one, you're going to see that there was already glue on this. Uh, I tried using twine and I didn't, it just didn't work out in my favor. So I decided to use this jute rope. This is from Burlap Fabric. This black jute rope along with the other jute rope is also from Burlap Fabric. And I loved this. I love even like the thickness of it. I think it is really, really great. And I used a lot of uh, items from Burlap Fabric in the past and I'm always super happy with their items but I absolutely loved it so I just used the black and I just used what I had left over and then what I um, what didn't cover the egg I just used with the brown jute twine or jute rope jute twine yeah it's not jute twine <laughs> uh, yeah and that is all I did for this this was actually really easy it took some time but I love the way these turned out I love the neutral colors of it I wasn't sure I wanted to add this to the video just because it doesn't really match my whole theme, but I think they're super cute still. Dollar Tree eggs, who doesn't have those? And then I'm just using some of this mop head. You guys, if you are new to my channel, I did a ton of DIYs over Christmas with this mop head. And I thought, you know what, it's been a while and I have one left over, so why not uh, roll up some eggs roll up some eggs, right? Roll up eggs, roll the eggs in this mop head. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but, um, yeah, these are super cute. I actually love this. I love using the mop head. You could use yarn if you wanted, but I think this was just a little bit easier. And then I just have a little bit of ribbon left. So I thought I would just try to use up some items that I already have that I bought that I haven't used, but I love adding some of this ribbon to the centers. I didn't use it with all of it, or all six eggs, but I think these turned out really cute. a really simple DIY. I'm just using one of these little circle wood plaques from Walmart. They're 98 cents and some of these pop-up stickers from Dollar Tree. And then I'm just going to be adding these pop-up stickers all around this little wood piece. I always see Nicole from the Weeks Nest use these pop-up stickers and she does some super amazing things. So I will just link her channel if you guys want to check it out. But she always comes up with some super, super cute ideas for pop-up stickers. And I always have a dog with me. So I always get some dog hair in stickers, in paint, in anything. But I was actually going to make three of these, so you're going to see that two of them are already painted. I'm going to save those for a different DIY, but I'm just using the Waverly chalk paint in moss, and I'm just going over the top of this. 
And then once it is dry, I am just going to go back in with the Waverly Chalk Paint in white and just kind of dry brush the little stickers just to give it a little more dimension, a little more texture, a little more something just because it looked really, really plain if I didn't. And then I just added a little wooden bunny to the center and I think this is just a really cute little piece. Last DIY is just a really cute little bunny mason jar. I just have a ton of these mason jars I really just want to use and paint. Just using the Waverly Chalk Paint in white and I'm painting those and then I just use the ballet slipper to paint the little pink bunny that is going to go right onto the middle of the jar. And then I just added some really cute florals from the Dollar Tree. It wasn't anything super hard to make so I didn't really go into big big detail with this one but add some florals, glue your bunny, you're good to go. You guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this Easter video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I would love if you consider sticking around and subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.